The following video contains receiving, installation, and adjustment instructions for Southern State's Vertical Brake Disconnect Switch, Model EV2. Vertical Brake Disconnect Switches provide a safe point of isolation for both routine and unexpected maintenance of critical substation equipment. Generally applied as a three-phase solution, operation can be achieved via a manual or motor operator through conventional interface pipe arrangements. In this video, we will be working with a Southern States EV2 aluminum vertical brake switch. It is available for upright, vertical, or underhung mounting applications with a maximum voltage rating between 15.5 kilovolts and 362 kilovolts. In this video, we will provide a comprehensive overview of the design elements, receiving, installation, operation, and adjustment of a three-phase ganged operated horizontal upright vertical brake switch. Please note that this video is intended as a recommended sequence of work steps but does not supersede the instruction manual or assembly drawings per each specific job. For further assistance, contact the Southern States Service Division. Design Overview at its simplest form, the EV2 disconnect switch design typically consists of three phases, each including a base, set of three insulators, and live parts. The driven phase, generally located in the middle of the three-phase arrangement, is connected via the drive pipe to the vertical pipe of the operating device. The interface pipe connects the remaining two phases with the drive pipe. This system of pipes translates the rotational movement of the operator to provide simultaneous rotation of each phase's insulator that facilitates both opening and closing of the switch. Critical live part elements of the EV2 switch include a heavy extrusion, threaded current transfer hinge, jaw with reverse loop contacts, as well as an aluminum blade. These help to support consistent current transfer, applicational flexibility, and the overall life of the switch. Additional parts and components of a disconnect switch that are important to know during installation, adjustment, and maintenance procedures are counterbalance, blade, contact fingers, switch operating arm, bearing, insulator, base, arcing horn. Switch receiving, inspection, and installation. It is important that a receiving inspection be performed immediately upon receipt to determine if there are any missing or damaged items. Cross-reference the materials received against the packing list that is provided by the delivery driver. In addition to the packing list, two important documents will be found in the parts and accessories box. A quick setup guide which provides a general installation and adjustment overview for both the switch and operating mechanism, and a disconnect switch shipment overview document which details our standard marking and drawing procedures. Visual illustrations to support identification of parts will also be included. Typical shipments will consist of switch phases, bundled operating pipe, as well as crates and boxes which house parts and accessories. Insulators are shipped either pre-assembled or crated separately based on customer preference or shipping limitations. Locate the drawing package found inside the cardboard tube to inventory all items against the bill of material. If it is discovered that parts or equipment are missing and or damaged, file a carrier claim immediately and contact the Southern States Service Division. Before proceeding with installation, refer to the quick setup guide and instruction book for step-by-step -step instructions that will guide you towards proper installation and adjustment of the switch. To begin the installation process, uncrate the switch phases. If the insulators are not pre-assembled, Unbolt the live parts from the switch bases and proceed with installation and adjustment of the insulators. Once the base, insulators, and live parts are installed, or if they are shipped pre-assembled, it is now time to lift and mount the phases to the structure. Refer to the operating mechanism drawing for proper position and proceed with the following lifting instructions. With the switch closed, secure the blade using a rope or other type of strap to prevent movement during the lifting process. Secure the switch arm to the bearing stop using a wire or strap. Finally, ensure that all lifting is performed by a qualified rigger and per the switch's instruction book guidelines. If you need additional information, 
contact Southern States. Once lifted, mount and secure each disconnect switch phase in the closed position to the structure using the hardware indicated by the operating mechanism drawing. If possible, mount the conductors to both ends of the switch pole before adjusting the switches. Verify that the insulators are properly aligned. If adjustment is needed, refer to the instruction book for insulator stack adjustment instructions particular to your specific mounting arrangement. Installation of the operator. To begin, lay out all mechanism parts and check them against the OPMEC drawing bill of material. Per the customer's specification, the operator may be manual or utilize a motor mechanism. Using the mounting brackets and bolts provided, secure the operating mechanism to the structure. Then, install the mounting plates, bearings, and finally the vertical operating pipe per the included drawing package. Pay close attention to order of operations as it may be required to slide pipe guides or accessory mounting brackets on the vertical pipe at this time before securing it in place. It will be important to ensure a half inch gap is present between the operator and the pipe coupler. This can be achieved by lifting the vertical pipe and piercing the vertical bearing collar. At this point, the bearing should bear the entire weight of the pipe. Once this is accomplished, pierce the vertical bearing set screw completely. This will be the only piercing until final check and energization of the switch. Next, install the adjustable arm. Verify the lever arm dimension matches what is shown in the drawing package. Installation of the drive phase operating pipe. Using the supplied hardware, install the drive phase clevis. Connect the reach rod between the outboard bearing and auxiliary arm of the driven phase and secure with clevis bolts without fully tightening. At this point, ensure that the switch is in the fully closed position. This can be done by checking that the stop bolt is flush with the insulator and that the switch blade is resting on the stop, toggled, and centered in the contacts of the jaw. Once the full closed position is verified, proceed with tightening the clevises to the drive pipe. Snug the piercing bolts, but leave them unpierced until final adjustment. Pre-adjustment of the drive phase operating pipe. The operating mechanism is intended to fully open and fully close the disconnect switch by rotating the vertical operating pipe a minimum of 180 degrees using a manual or motor operator. The interface pipe controls the individual operation of each switch pole using a push-pull control. The reach rod translates the motion of the vertical operating pipe to the interface linkage and the adjustable arm controls the total amount of the switch operation available. When the switch is properly adjusted, the operator handle is factory set to rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise to open the switch and should hang vertically and free in both the open and closed positions to permit the use of a customer supplied padlock. If possible, adjustment of the switch is best performed one phase at a time. Adjusting the driven phase first will help to ensure the remaining two phases are adjusted correctly. If the linkage is such that the drive pipe is installed directly to the interface pipe, you will have to install the interface pipe and the clevises before proceeding to the adjustment of the switch. To begin adjustment, loosen the open close bearing stops and slide them out of the way. This will help to ensure they do not interfere in the adjustment process. Next, match mark the clevis connections, adjustable arm, and operating coupling. This will serve as a reference point when adjusting the drive phase and help monitor for pipe slippage. Test operation and adjustment of the drive phase. Once the match marks have been made, test operate the drive phase to see if adjustments are needed. If the switch is not fully open before the operator reaches the full open closed position, the adjustable arm radius is too short. To correct, check to see that no slippage has occurred. Return the switch to the almost fully closed position but not toggled. Loosen the bolts on the adjustable arm and the pipe clevis. Lengthen the adjustable radius arm approximately one fourth inch, allowing the pipe clevis to reposition itself the same one fourth inch. 
If the switch is fully open before the operator reaches the fully open position, the adjustable arm radius is too long. To correct, check to see that no slippage has occurred. Return the switch to the almost fully closed position but not toggled. Loosen the bolts on the adjustable arm and pipe clevis. Shorten the adjustable radius arm approximately 1 4th inch, allowing the pipe clevis to reposition itself the same 1 4th inch. After making one of these two adjustments, tighten the bolts and test operate. Readjust as necessary until a full open and closed position is achieved in unison with some degree of operator toggle. This is particularly critical in the event of a fault where the pipe's spring tension will help to hold the blade in place in the jaw. Installation and adjustment of the interface operating pipe. Now that we have toggle in the open and closed position on the drive phase, it is now time to introduce the interface operating pipe which will utilize the push-pull method to facilitate motion in the other two phases. Begin by ensuring the remaining two phases are in the closed position. Then, install the interface pipe connecting the two phases with the drive phase. Secure but do not over tighten with clevis bolts and snug the piercing bolts without fully piercing. Match mark the clevis connections and test operate all three phases noting if further adjustment is needed. Shorten or lengthen the interface pipe by 1 4th inch increments until a full open and closed position is achieved for all three phases with a full toggle of the operating device. Tighten all pipe securing bolts minus the piercing bolts at this time. Ensuring full closure of the switch. Once all phases have achieved a full open and close with operator toggle, Verify that each blade is fully seated, rotated, and positioned in the jaw. This can be achieved by cross-referencing five key criteria. 1. Ensure that the blade contact is centered front to back. 2. All contact fingers must make contact with the blade. 3. The blade must enter the center of the jaw. 4. The blade must fully rest on the stop inside the jaw. And 5. The blade must be within 5 degrees of flat. In addition to these 5 criteria, each fully open blade should be at least 90 degrees and the op mech should be vertically toggled or snapped in when the full closed position is reached and if possible when the full open position is reached. If adjustment of the blade angle is needed, begin to close the blade to remove pressure on the stop bolt. Loosen and adjust the stop bolt until desired blade angle is achieved. Final check and assembly. Once all phases have been adjusted properly, slide and retighten the open close bearing stops. Then install any switch accessories such as whips, arcing horns, interrupters, or the Macy per the assembly drawings. If not done already, land conductors to the terminal pads and ensure insulators are leveled, Operator toggle is achieved and the switch is fully closed. Then, test operate the switch to ensure specification is met. At this time, pierce all set screws. If a motor operator is being used, ensure limit switches are set. Ensure all switch accessories from the operating mechanism package are installed, such as the ground shunt and motor operator swing handle. If further support is needed, Contact the Southern States Service Division.